know you're homesick, Rufus, but doggone it, you needn't forget your manners. Well, this collie's just trying to be friendly. Come on, Rufus. Get out and stretch your legs. <laughs> you, ma'am? Come to see Henry Whitfield. As you can see by the looks of my car, I've come a long ways. Near 2,000 miles. I'm Corey Stewart, district ranger here. Samantha Whitfield. Down home, they call me Sam. Oh, yes, Aunt Sam. Hank's spoken to you quite often. Expect he would. Been real close, that boy and me. Here comes Hank now. Aunt Sam, doggone what a surprise. It's good to see you. You're looking fit as a fiddle. You look fine yourself, boy. Except you maybe a mite skinny. Expect you're not eating as good as you did when you was home. <laughs> Here's old Rufus. You remember me, fella. He knows you, Henry. Sure doesn't act like it. Is he sick? Homesick is what he is. What tarnation brings you two way out here anyway? Come to find a settling down spot, Henry. You mean you moved out of Strawberry Canyon? Prettiest place back home you'd ever want to see, Corey. It was. Ain't no more. Got a whole mess of little boxes they call houses all over the place. And a big expressway's coming right through our front porch. Had to move out. Glad you picked our area, Miss Whitfield. We know you'll like it. Hope so. Gave it a lot of thought. Us Whitfields ain't much for wandering. But all the rest of my kin got families. Henry's the only one ain't got kid folk living close. So I figured it'd be nice for both of us moving here. You reckon you could put me and Rufus up till we can buy us a place hereabouts? Why don't you let her use your cabin, Hank? Just me and Rufus, boy. Ain't expecting no palace. Suppose I could bunk in the barracks a while. Uh, Come on, let's get her moved in. We'll take these, Aunt Sam. Ain't no weakling, Henry. I'll tote my share. Come on, Rufus. Can't lay there all day. <laughs> Could hear Aunt Sam. Lots of streams and woods, just like back home. Big shade trees, rabbits to chase. Lassie will show them around. Go ahead, Lassie. You and Rufus go play.
that lamp, Henry. It's been handed down to Whitfield for generations. This generation won't drop an ant, Sam. Where do you want this, Miss Whitfield? Right there on the floor will be fine. All my photographs and pictures are in it. A lot of space right there. I can make a fine gallery. This window ought to take my lace curtains just fine. Hold on a minute, Aunt Sam. I plan on moving back in here myself someday. Don't you go fretting, Henry. This ain't permanent. But I do want it to look a bit like home. Hank, you've accumulated some leave time. Why don't you take a start at the morrow and help your aunt look for a house? Well, thanks, Corey. I'll check some of the real estate offices in town. You anything special in mind, Miss Whitfield? Nothing real fancy. Just so's Rufus and me like it. You mean Rufus has to give his okay? Certainly does, Henry. He's got to live there too, you know. Back so soon, Lassie? Doesn't look like you gave Rufus much of a run. Come on in here, Rufus. Maybe seeing a few familiar things will perk you up a bit. Well, come on now, get a move on. Rufus never did much like the color green. I wonder how these walls would look a pale blue. Looking place, isn't it? Sure is. Got two wells, been completely repainted inside, and the real estate fella says the price is right. That's what I like to hear. Got the key right here. Let's take a look. Nice, isn't it? Right, homie. No use, Henry. Rufus don't like the place at all. Poor old Hal's set in his ways, just like I am. He ain't happy. I'm afraid he'll just pine away and die. Now look, Aunt Sam, I know Rufus means a lot to you, but... Doggone it, how are you going to tell when he does find the right place? I expect he'll let me know, Henry. Next place is up near the lumber mill, about 30 miles. Off we go, then. Yes, sir. More money, Aunt Sam. The scenery here is beautiful. A little stream down in that hollow, and lots of running room for Rufus.
You didn't even take a good look at this one, Rufus. How far to the next place, Henry? 40 miles from here, Blue Creek Valley. Got a nice sound to it. Well, Henry? I was waiting to see if maybe Rufus wanted to drive. Inside. Come on now. Got things fixed up a bit. Come see me. and I'll fix you up something to eat. Gonna fry some corn fritters and bacon. Your favorite. <laughs> Try not to fret so, Rufus. We'll find a place you like sooner or later. Sam, just calm down. How can I calm down when Rufus has run off? I look everywhere hereabouts for him. Well, he can't be far. He's probably just out with Lassie. No, sir. He's headed home, and that's a fact. Rufus wouldn't run off while I was cooking fritters and bacon, lest he was headed someplace real special. <laughs> with Lassie. Rufus is gone, girl. Go find him. Go on, go find him.
give Lassie a little more time. I've waited long enough, Henry. Got to go looking for myself. Bad enough driving them fool highways, but walking them like Rufus is even more dangerous. All right, all right, I'll go with you. She wants us to follow. Well, don't just sit there, Henry. Follow her. You. you mean he likes this house? I should have known it all along. Clean forgot about Saturday night. Never even thought about this old place that needs so much work. Saturday night? Rufus's bath night. Never did like a bath night. Used to hide under the porch steps. Took me forever to get him out. That's what he was looking for. A porch he could hide under. That isn't something. Well, this is the place, Henry. If we can buy it. I'm sure you can. For a song. Needs a lot of work, though. Makes no never mind. Main thing is, we're home. Ain't that right, Rufus? <laughs> I guess that settles it, Aunt Sam. If you want me to, I'll come over every Saturday night and help you catch Rufus for his bath. <laughs> 